Happy Monday, beloveds! Today is a full moon Monday, so there's lots of amazing energy going on. This full moon is in Scorpio, so there's a lot of passion, a lot of heat, and a lot of fire. The other part about this moon, though, however, is there's still some energy left over from the weekend with Taurus, as well as, you know, we are in the sun of Gemini. So there's a lot of that duality going on. And so things are starting to build up. Also, we do have a Mercury retrograde coming up, so things are definitely shifting. It's a great time tonight to set those intentions. If you're friends with me on Facebook, I did put a ritual on there to really set the tone. So go ahead and find me on Facebook under Tanya Melendez, T-O-N-Y-A, Melendez, M-E-L-E-N-D-E-Z. So happy full moon Monday, and we are now in May. It's May 4th, 2015, and time is going by really, really fast. So today's message will come from the tarot, but also messages from the angels. And we'll also do a special message from the romance, just because, like I said, this this full moon is hot, 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 and it's very sensual, sexual, but more than that, it's an amazing energy to really connect with the truth of who you are. This is a very big time, May, for healing, transformation, endings, beginnings, big stuff. So let's go ahead and just take it to prayer. Breathing in good grace and gratitude, breathing in God, knowing that we are connected with the one that is the one. So I bless our week. I bless all that comes to us, through us, and for us, knowing that as we say yes to life, we release and let go of all those things that we no longer need. So I bless our body temples, our minds, our bodies, our spirits, knowing that all our needs are met, excuse me, everything that is for us comes to us gracefully and easily I also want to bless our work and what it is here we are to do I bless our loved ones our significant others our children our pets all of it I also bless our work I bless our co-workers and all of that knowing that we are blessed we are abundant we are whole and healthy and complete knowing that all our needs are met now not tomorrow not yesterday but now everything we need comes to us gracefully and easily so how grateful I am to share these words to speak these words and to know this truth for each and every one of us I release I let go and let God and so it is pardon the interruption I usually have the door closed and today I forgot again full moon so let's go ahead and I just started shuffling the tarot no not yet we are gonna start first of all with a message from the angels so let's see what the angels have in store for us today I want to tell you a little bit also about a special I'm having I've been really affected by the energy of Nepal and so I really am going to do something really special so today through Thursday I'm doing a full moon special but it is for Nepal so what this means is I'll give a 20 minute session by phone only either through Skype phone FaceTime whatever phone uh, again because of our time difference here with me in Spain and wherever you are in the world but it's only going to be $20, and seven of those dollars will go to an organization, a Christian spiritual-based organization that is there helping people get the food, the supplies, whatever it is that they need. So $7 of the 20 will go to charity. So this is something that I've never done before. I've never done anything with the charity before, but I felt very moved to do that. And so I would love for you to get a 20-minute check-in, a tune-in with the tarot with me this week anytime up until Thursday it's only $20 for 20 minutes 7 which will go to hashtag save Nepal unite for Nepal so I'm in it to win it and I want to share that with you so the angels have spoken and the first card we get is Isabella yes the timing is perfect for this new venture a happy outcome follows positive expectations then we get mystique keep charging ahead don't take no for an answer Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Expect your miracles, beloved. You have to, no matter what it looks like on the outside. And you know, we all have our moments. We all have something that we might be going through. But remember, if when you expect miracles, miracles will show up for you in a magical and beautiful way. The next card then we get is Astara. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires. Don't compromise. So there's definitely a message going on there. So I'm only picking one card for the romance just because we could get into a whole story. But I know that this is a sensual moon. So I'm asking 
the romance angels to guide us to what it is we need to know with this Scorpio full moon. I'm just asking for the right and divine lesson and blessing, and I'm just going to open. All right, so the first one we got, well, the only one we're getting today is flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I have to say, I'm pretty good at this, and it's actually one of my favorite things to do because it really does elevate your energy and the energy of those around you. So go out there and flirt. That's what this new, this full moon is saying. And I'm so grateful for that because it gives a lighthearted energy right to you as soon as you get this message, right? It makes you feel flirty and fun. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Okay. So the tarot are saying, okay. All right. So this are some interesting cards. And it's interesting because we usually get very lighthearted cards. And these are a little bit different. So let's see here. So we get the King of Swords. And what this is telling me is that it's really time to focus on what you want. Let go of what you don't. And because it's a king, it is a higher knowledge. Swords represent air and thought. Be mindful where your thoughts are. Like I said, sometimes it can be easy to go down the road of negativity and the how and the when and the why. Trust and know that you are being provided and taken care of. And the next card we get is the Eight of Swords. Again, swords. Your thoughts are holding you in prison. Break out. Be free. You are the only one that's holding you in prison. You are the only one that is holding you to those feelings and moods and all of that. Whenever I get into a situation where I feel that I'm having a difficulty or something's really bothering me, that's when I pray the most. I just, God, show me the way. Take this fear from me. Archangel Michael, cut away the fear, the negativity, whatever it is. I go right into deep prayer mode and this doesn't just work for me, it works for you. And if you want some more help with understanding prayer and how to create a spiritual practice, join me for Miracle Club every Tuesday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will change the hours soon for summer time. So join me. Again, the information you can find on my website, www.tarolifecoach.com. And then the last one we get is the Five of Cups. So you've gone through some stuff. You've had some heartbreak. You've had some upset. But now the grass is greener on the other side. Remember, you create your grass. If you're always thinking it's in the past, you're never going to allow yourself to move forward. And that's what this full moon is all about. It's really about transforming, healing, letting go, and releasing. So make sure that you are mindful of where your thoughts are going. That's what these swords are representing. Remember, don't take no for an answer. Yes, the timing is perfect. Keep going, no matter how afraid, no matter how fearful, no matter how, how, how. The how is a distraction of the ego to keep you bound to the fear. Trust and believe miracles are here for you and the miracles will show up. I'm sending you so much love and so much light. Happy full moon, beloveds. I can't wait to hear how your rituals go. Again, you can find me on Facebook, Tarot Life Coach on Facebook, or Tanya Melendez. Until next time, beloveds, know you are love, you are light, and so, so blessed. All my love to you. Peace and blessings.